Yeah. I pull up roto window down it. I pull up roto window down it. Yeah. I pull up roto window down it. Hi, hotties, kettles, teasters. You're here for hot tea. All commentary is alleged, and in my opinion, this is for entertainment purposes only. I wanted to come back with the part two in a more clear debuncture of my last video. Because like I said in that video, I feel like there is an alliance and there is a plot and the cast is using the millimeters to deflect from their role in all of this. If you haven't checked out that video, check it out. But with all of that being said, I also believe these people attempting to railroad Mel's fan base and use them to deflect from their role in all of this was done intentional in spite Spitefully. Mel announced that she would be doing a three-part series for the Mellometers. Mel had always been super supportive of the Mellometers in answering a lot of our questions and hopping in and out of our lives. Not saying that she has stopped doing that, but she also mentioned that she would probably be doing a Mellocon and it'll be something that is done annually after she had the Mellometer after party for the live show that she did with Carlos King in Huntsville which we will review but I only want to review one specific part about that entire interview and that was the segment that I've always spoke about on my channel that was so gut-wrenching it was a very emotional moment and the way Carlos chose to pivot from that moment was very distasteful and we're going to review that in a separate video her three-part series was supposed to be featured on Nubian Network and I'm not gonna lie I didn't really expect to be picked to be on the three-part series because i'm supposed to be getting sued by maurice and i already know if we talk in business that's just probably not a good look considering how they're trying to move on the show by acting as if male have this cult-like ridiculous barbaric following which sidebar is so laughable considering they are in cahoots with a man like male's baby mama but i think ever since male started to announce that she would be doing a special for the mellow meters they have gone into attack mode and this is why since she announced the uh the three-part series they have consistently gone on their platforms and say hey if i had a fan base like this i would never support that or i would turn that down or i would tell them to not do this or i would tell them to not say this and dusty dan your big face ass i just wanted to remind you your biggest fan used to be a mellow meter and she's actually a scorned mellow meter your biggest fan is somebody that hates Mel. so you want to sit up on the couch talking about bitter deplorable middle-aged women that lack critical thinking skills ho you are literally hanging out with a whole name peggy y'all say shit and it's just really so laughable you want to sit here and make it seem as though you coming for somebody or you got the upper hand or you make the most amount of sense when when we really map out the shit that y'all have done you don't make sense ho you want to sit up here and talk about a, an entire group of people that are calling out a man that tried to release revenge pee on his ex-wife for no fucking reason when you hanging out with a hoe and laughing with a hoe because remember i remember that video when you were sitting up there with peggy laughing and talking about oh well they shouldn't have been doing a revenge they shouldn't have been doing a tape anyway oh well like i remember that so you talking about people over here are bitter and hateful when look at the type of people that you surround yourself around girl sunny aired your ass out for trying to give her dirt about male what type of hoe are you but we know what type of bitch you is that's why it's laughable that y'all can sit up here and act like y'all are something that you really not because y'all mad because we see right through it but they have talked about the melameters in every episode so far so i believe male have maybe put a hold on the things going on with the mellow meters because they 
like I said, are trying to make us look barbaric, trying to make us look irrational, cult-like. And to me, they are doing this out of spite. They are intentionally trying to railroad her fan base because she supports them. And I really think that's unfortunate because we have seen them throughout the years try to bring down or attack or infiltrate every single thing that she has tried to use to push herself ahead y'all get in the comments and y'all let me know what you think i think a lot of the things going on with the mellow meter stuff that was supposed to be planned for the summer has maybe been put on hold who knows i don't know i never asked about it this is just my assumption this is my theory i want to know what y'all got to say about this don't forget to like subscribe comment hit the post notification bell so y'all are up to date each and every time that i upload be about it and i just want to address it and <clears throat> it's just like you know we all have our fans and we love our fans and we want our fans to support us and we love the fans of each cast, cast member but we also love the fans of just Love a marriage in general because you guys support us. We love that. We are who we are because of our fans. So thank you guys for that. But we do have some fans that go above and beyond. Um, I mean, the, the, from personal experience, I experienced a lot with the um, with the millimeters. And I'm just speaking my truth. Like when you have someone coming to your home, taking pictures of your house, showing up at your businesses, um, coming to your construction sites. Um, going to the city, reporting, calling the city, um, calling around Atlanta, trying to get the Black Business Expo stopped. Um, it's just a lot of unnecessary stuff. So when I speak and I say something, it is because of the things that I have experienced with that particular group. And it may not be everybody, but the ones that's doing it, they're doing the most. I come and make it rock, baby. The meters, the meters, the meters. I come and make it rock, baby. The meters, the meters, the meters. I come and make it rock, baby. The meters over there. I yes. <laughs> I would love to see you and ma'am make up. Ah, you may see that. You may get your wishes true, baby. She got on the other blogger, too. I told y'all them bloggers. Yes, sir. She cussed the other blogger slap out. Yep. The the Ann lady. Y'all know the uh the other lady, the the bell boom. Yeah, her. <laughs> she cussed her slap out. I told them. Now take another commentary to come over there and cuss they butt out. I keep telling them. Everybody ain't having that stuff y'all talking over there. Quit talking about people. Dang, that make me mad. What happened? Girl, y'all can't teach you. Now, see, we got all them, them meters over there arguing and fussing with each other now. See, that's what the problem is. Some of them meters, like she said, girl, you don't know these folks. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Hey, I'm sick of all the rain. I wish I had all these people on my page when I be over there cooking. <laughs> Cause they run all out the door, baby. Yeah. And then they proceed to make it seem as if Mel's fans are all deplorables who are, you know, like a cult-like following. And I'm just like, I wish y'all would stop assigning signing that to just the millimeters because I think the people that are fans of this show all the ways around are toxic and are standing and doing too much. Whether they are a fan of Mel's or not, there are a lot of people that do not like Melody that have proceeded to stalk y'all, pop up on y'all, dig deep into y'all past like people have done all kind of shit whether they like male or not as it pertains to the fandom in this show so to continue to act like it's only males fans that are doing these things i think that's a way for y'all to continue to blame male for everything as y'all have done since season one you know um carlos is doing his live podcast the first off is here in no Huntsville. I no yeah i mean it should be fun but he has male as a special guest so he's been like um Talking about the melameters and the raindrops. I would not be in the building, especially not without the invitation. Um, right. But I'm not trying to be around the melameters at all because it's just a group of evil females. And they're middle aged females that's very unhappy in life. You and know what I see? I think they're a little older than middle aged. I have never seen such a toxic group of people. Exactly. I feel like it's a group of broken women. Yeah. The people that have critical thinking ability, they actually don't get on the internet and make those type of comments. Not, it's, it's, it's not about fans. So it's not it's about nobody but me and what I want to convey, put out, whatever. Okay, you know so, what so you're doing this purposefully to what? Hurt? It, it, it's like she went low and I went lower.
Some people, they like male for a different reason. I do not care what those followers think. To me, they're just a, just a, a group of deplorables. Gotcha. All right? Right. People, they're brainless, foolish people yep. that follow someone that ignore all facts. Uh, he said that I'm going to buy another shirt. Go buy her shirts. Yes. Spend all your money and all your kids' money making male a multi-billionaire. I don't care. Some people, some content creators are going to do a season line blackout of the show. A season line blackout. They're upset about something with the uh, show, and they're doing a season line blackout. And I feel like in that moment, I was kind of thinking, and I was with the spirit of the Lord, but three words came to my mind. And those three words are bat shit crazy. Like, these motherfuckers are bat shit crazy. They're calling people to boycott a show? Like a television, a reality TV show? Bat shit crazy. And, and, and FYI, guys, some of the people, they, you don't know, understand how I feel. In particular about, like, Melanie Bush. I don't give a fuck about them. I hate every one of them, every motherfucking one of them, right? And, and here's the thing, like, if they don't support my business, right? I never want to fucking die from them. I never want them to be business. If I see them in here, I'll put them out, right? And if they're buying, you know, if they can't come, I don't want them in black. I never want to see them. I never want to buy a shirt. I never want to buy anything from me. So I'm happy when they say, I'm not going to do this little verso. I'm like, oh, thank you, shit. I hate, and if they tell everybody about me, I don't want anybody that's willing to listen to them motherfuckers to come here, right? And here's, this is the beautiful thing, guys. I want you guys to understand something about God. You put you, you put you in positions where you literally don't need people, right? I think God has to do that. Unless these millimeters, unless these people are going to buy a fucking hotel, how are you going to stop me moving? What are you going to do? But, oh my God, I'm just sitting back listening, and I'm looking at it, I'm reading, and I'm like, these motherfuckers are crazy. Like, they're literally out of their minds. They're boycotting television shows, they think they're going to, they think they're the bloggers, they think bloggers are, I cannot wait. I cannot wait to see them ratings, and see how bad they're going to look, and they're going to be like, they have no power. None. People don't understand that analytics. When they think the show's uh, ratings are down, that's probably because of NFL and college football doing it at the same goddamn time, but. Yeah. I pull up, roll the window, turn it.